I'm gonna tell you what I've been doing. Here you go. Come here. Sit. Oh, some KGs. Oh, it's KGB. You know us Americans? Come here, come. There we go. It was, it was, it was a 87 pounds. Come here. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm crazy. Move your foot, man. About 81, but I feel like he's like not on the center. Yeah, it ain't no way. Y'all seen this Joker? He go. Let's try that one more time. Sometimes this thing you off. Run. Hey, hey, hey. Sit. Come here. Sit. Ah. Sit. Sit. Hey, 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 slow. What's it say? Um, about 80, hold on. Hey, man. You don't lay this up. Sit. Hey, hey, hey. 85? 84? Good boy. So get this. Ooh. Boy, this warm here. Try to score another feature in the cage. Go. Come on, in the cage, go. You gotta go. Come on, boy, get in the cage, boy. So get this. When you wanna lose, get your daughter to lose weight. All I did was dial back their feeding amount of feeding times, not the amount of food, but the amount of feeding times because he's still eating five pounds of food. So, I don't even know. Give me a second, we come back. TV here, Fit Bully TV. We'll figure out when's the last time we did a video where we weighed the dogs and it had to be less than two weeks ago. So in two weeks, he lost five pounds and he don't look like he lost no weight. But I needed him to lose a little weight because we get into the summer and it is hot. I don't want a big fat dog during this time. Guys, so we just checked and if you saw, we couldn't get him to like really stay still, but Tron was roughly 90 pounds. That thing's, he was roughly, when we got through with it, he was about 90 pounds. That's where, he, that's where he was at, and we just saw he was roughly about 84 pounds, according to the camera. Now, you can't tell, but two things took place. Over the past month, Ego's leg, I know people was last night, oh, what's wrong with Ego? He can't get on the tires. Um, Ego hadn't done a lot, like an old man who think he can still dunk. We went right into some bite stuff and a hard walk, and unfortunately, he twisted his knee. So there were some days where he couldn't put any pressure on his leg, and um, that in itself has been a journey because I've already spent $5,000. <laughs> to get a leg fixed, his mother, to be clear, she had a TPLO. Uh, so, when we, when we think of food and the impact of food, I can honestly say I believe that the food is attributed to a lot of his healing and his success. And even this morning I was reading about bone function, bone formation, bone in terms of how nutrition works and so many other things. So what I'm gonna to do today is show you, for one, I've cut the dog's feeding down between, let's say seven days in a week, they're maybe eating three to four days a week. And it's every other day, and then there's a snack in between. A snack could be a package of chicken legs, uh, could be a bird, <laughs> could be anything that has bone, which provides satiety. Three things I like to focus on when putting a meal together is protein, fiber, and of course your organs, which are going to cover a lot of your nutrition. Things I've learned, oh, so much. Meaning things that I'm going to consistently add to Harris meals. And some of the bigger dogs, but definitely the puppies' meals over the next few weeks to see how that impacts them. We'll talk about that at another time. So I'm gonna prepare a meal for Tron, walk you through what this meal is gonna do for him. Um, reason why we focus on him losing weight. I don't know if you can see the sweat in my head, but if you walk outside in Texas right now, you know, you're talking 90 plus degrees with the humidity going crazy. And uh, if you have American bullies, you are not unaware that your dog has trouble or struggles breathing in these type of conditions specifically. So if you have an American bull, he's super large, I'm not saying all of them, but it's not unlikely that they might struggle 
to go in and out and do some work. Well, I don't have the kind of American bullies that can just sit in the house. They start sitting in the house and don't get out and get stressed a little bit, work those muscles and you know, do something engaging the mind, they start acting real crazy. So they have to do something, which means I have to regulate and manage their weight. And I don't care what nobody says, when you're lighter, you're a little bit happier. So today we're gonna to feed Tron a little chicken and I'm gonna put a meal together and show you guys realistically our new product. Fat blocks. That's what we're here for. This is this is the, the, the secret. You can go to my dog Sups. We finally got it. I kid you not, people, we've been waiting three months for this product. I had to go back and check all the bills the other day because I was so I was like, dang, when did we pay for this? Now the funny thing is, I'm telling you this. I paid the people the, the original deposit to get the product going. I ain't heard nothing since. When the product shows up at their door. I can't get a, you can't get a hold of them. I ain't gonna say that they respond, but let's say you can't get a hold of your manufacturer. But when that product shows up, I woke up to an email with that bill. I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> that bill came and, uh, you know, of course I had to pay the rest of the deposit. So long story short, we've got 200 uh, products in relation to fat blocks. And I can tell you, I already know how to make it better. But go to my dog subs, get the fat blocks. In the video, in the next video, or a video probably within the next day or so, I'll show you how to stack all products, why they work, and how to make them work, and why we use them. So stay tuned. Take care of your dogs, people. We do know the power and importance of omega threes. So what I wanted to do is, of course, aminos do what build. They build, they build, they build. AKA that's where you get your protein from. We come up with a uh, calcium product, AKA fortified for joints and joint support, joint function. This has this is wild caught salmon. I'm just read it. <laughs> it's premium wild caught Norwegian salmon oil. High fat contains bursting omega threes. Nurtures skin, promotes shiny coat, aids aids in weight management, supports health and hip joints. Why? Because omega threes reduce inflammation in the joints. So when you stack all three supplements, fat blocks, uh, puppy blocks, and then fortified. <laughs> Your dog's a happier, healthier dog in general. Here's the thing. I spend a lot of money at Costco and on, on food. I buy salmon, a.k.a. sardines, by the case. It's not uncommon for me to buy a thing of meat, a thing of turkey breast. I'm oh my bad. A thing of turkey, ground turkey, a thing of chicken breast, a case of um, the omega-3s, a.k.a. can of sardines, and leave paying 120 to 160 bucks. Because I know you have to buy at least some chicken legs as well. That's three things. This chicken alone is $15.99. This, this right here, Tron's about to eat a $40, $50 meal. We're, we're 15 bucks in with just this. He about to get a whole bird. It's $16.99 or 16 bucks on raw feeding because this is his fiber for, for four birds. So, you know, that's, that's 15, that's $20 right there. This pork spleen, that's like $9, I believe, for a bag of, of pork spleen. And I just got this today. Beef liver is not super crazy, but that's 256. And then these rabbits, I he's not giving those, I'm gonna tell you. <clears throat> but I normally give them another source of protein. So guess what? This right here was another 10, 15 bucks. And I got the chicken breast over here if I want to sell with chicken. So off top, Tron himself eating a $30 plus meal. And that's just Tron. There's five of the dogs in there, people. So I would I'm telling you right now, you, I'm not gonna tell you you don't want to spend what I spend. I repeat, we demand a lot out of our dogs. So if I demand this, I try to make sure they have the support they need to stay healthy. And that in itself is a journey. So this is Tron's meal. We're gonna make sure you get the bird, because you're eating the bird. <laughs> I like pork spleen because it helps assist in the, ooh, ooh, building that immunity. And I'll, Stuff the little chicken right now. Let me turn around and uh. Give me one of these. Give him a little ground turkey in there. So now he's got a chicken, some turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and get this. A couple. I don't know if Jamarcus or Jamal opened this. One of them opened it. Oh, there we go. A couple squirts of that. 
and it says on there people how much to give you dog 51 plus pound 10 pumps I'd give him some more that's a good amount for Tron and then the final organ would be beef liver and uh, here we go with a little beef liver I just bought this today and this liver is already funky. When you get you get to this stage, people, it's none of this stuff feels good to touch, I'm be honest with you. I used to be grossed up by the my mom tell you I hate getting my hands dirty. But uh it just is what it is at this point. It's super disgusting. <laughs> I mean, why you don't wear gloves? I ordered some gloves literally a week ago. My dog on spring pole showed up today. And I thought they was a gloves, but now my gloves from Amazon. I'm like, what's Amazon doing? I gotta check and see. When a jump come. Oh, that's gross. It's like touching boo-boo. And trust me, if you do dogs, you didn't touch some shit. <laughs> that's the gist of it. So, Tron now has a whole bird. That bird in itself. It's not gonna be enough. That's the irony. That bird maybe is what? I don't even know how many pounds. But it's not that many pounds. I think it says. Doesn't say. Doesn't say how many pounds, unfortunately. But it's got more bone. So when you're, when you're operating on the pretense where there's more bone involved, then objectively you've got to make sure you add some more protein. Well, this is where that turkey comes in handy. So you give him the turkey. His fiber is going to be the feathers. He's got two organs which are secreting, aka the beef liver and the pork spleen. That bird comes fully intact as well. And all this bone is going to help basically keep that poop solid. Now Tron and Eagle are probably some of my better dogs. Doesn't mean they don't have accidents. And when they do, trust me, you, you hurt cleaning it up. You hurt cleaning it up because they're, they're, they're blowouts. It's like they behind had a fit. But I'll finish Tron off with two chicken breasts. And then you say, huh, no wonder the dog, even in this weather, I didn't change a thing. He's eating five to seven pounds of food, but he's eating it three times a week. And he's moving good. He's healthy. It's hot. All these things play a, a, a huge factor in your overall well-being as well. You've been there and you know somebody who's gotten overheated before. It's not a fun feeling, people. And I kid you not, it is cooking in Texas. I don't even complain about heat because I enjoy it. People, Jamar stay with me today and be like, oh, man, it's a little too hot. Every time I saw it, can't believe you're wearing the long sleeves. Hot as it is. Sweatpants and everything. I'm in a cooling system, so I'm fine. But the dogs... They're exposed like a nerve in this in this temperature, and they heat up so fast, and they've been digging up under the shed, <laughs> and in just a few moments, I don't think Cha Cha and Ben Ben were out there for five minutes, and I posted on the story. I mean, they ran up under that shed quick, cause it's just too hot, man. It's just too hot, uh, and so we want to feed lighter meats that don't raise your dog temperature. You want to make sure you're giving the dog the nutrition it needs, aka your fat blocks. You also want to make sure that the dog. For the most part, it's just enjoying their food. Shout out to all the dog food people. I understand the questions that you're probably going to have for the next three to five years. My job is to answer them. I appreciate everybody whose support of puppy blocks, fat blocks, and fortified. Stay tuned, guys. Take care of your dogs. We're going to come with some new ways in which we feed the dogs. And we're going to uh, actually show you feeding time with each dog here. So we built a little box that H. Marcus did. And I think it's going to be... A fun time because we'll be able to set the camera up it'll look straight through and you get to watch them chew up everything and we'll give them a little mic so you can hear the crunch this is going to be fun to watch try and eat because they do like this but trying to clear this chicken out about a minute 30. this whole chicken and we might do a little uh, we, we go in there and record a little bit of it everybody's gonna start whining because you don't want to eat it um, i told you also before make sure that you chop your chicken breast up tron isn't a dumb dog and him and ego are like seals they can swallow this thing and not choke bam bam and cha-cha they swallow this thing They'll be convulsing for the next two hours and you'll, you'll be a little nervous, meaning we will. So, I'll show people in the next video how to use Hera and you know how I feed Hera and why I feed her this way. Guys, thank you for watching. My dog subs, uh, pet achievers, my dog tools. It's a lot going on, people. Take care of your dogs. <laughs> I think it's going to work, brother. <laughs> now, people, we built a feeding station. Well, we will begin to show you our dogs eating and chewing on their food. Now, 
If you are someone who knows how to feed and use one of our guides, have learned from us or learned anything, cut it out. Then what is this meal missing? I will tell you what's in it. You tell me what it needs or comment below. You got a whole bird. Hey, 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 what? You got a whole bird, a bird stuffed inside of a bird. You got pork swing, beef liver, and some ground turkey stuffed in that bird as well. That right there total is about five pounds of food. Tron is going to enjoy it. And I'm going to enjoy watching him eat it. Stay tuned, guys. People, keep taking care of your dogs. Fat box, fortified, and puppy blocks are available at my dog subs. That stuff is stuffed in there as well. Tron, you enjoying your food already? That boy is slobber. He about to have a good time. Oh my, what a time for you and yours, me and mine. <laughs> one thing you might need to build is one thing right here just to keep it like a little, a little further the just bowl. a tiny. So the bowl doesn't uh, But that's out. it. But everything else, you put the right thing in there, keep it at an angle, and boom. 